China is already preparing to take the lead in space, along with those who may partner with it. With an eye towards bolstering its capabilities, both in times of peace as well as conflict, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, is investing comprehensively in the technology and training necessary for an impressive maneuver that will give the Army an edge over all its adversaries. Because she controls the largest military force in the world. A much-needed possibility for future warfare. China is primed and ready to achieve the world-class status, and there is no stopping the dragon now. Today's episode will uncover China military's extremely ambitious and strategic approach to on-orbit refueling plans. China's military is pioneering a strategic approach towards on-orbit refueling, as highlighted in a recent report from the China Aerospace Studies Institute CASI. This ambitious endeavor by the People's Liberation Army PLA, encompasses both peacetime and wartime scenarios, indicating a significant shift in their space capabilities. Notably, a defense contractor has already showcased a space fuel tanker in the geosynchronous Earth orbit GEO, showing impressive progress in this domain. The PLA's efforts extend beyond mere technological advancements. They are actively incorporating lessons learned into military doctrine and training tools. The integration of commercial enterprises into China's space sector further accentuates the PLA's strategic focus on enhancing on-orbit logistics capabilities. This development not only bears implications for international space operations norms, but also shows the need for proactive measures by entities like the U.S. Space Force to maintain parity in space capabilities. Obviously, China has always vowed for a safe use of space, so any blames thrown by the U.S. or its Space Force are discarded immediately. Now, delving deeper into the PLA's initiatives, the report reflects on the ongoing efforts since 2018 to develop a sophisticated computer simulation program aimed at training military satellite operators in space-based refueling, a feat which is as impressive as it sounds. This software, designed to replicate the complexities of the space environment, clearly shows you China's commitment to preparing its personnel for evolving space missions. Also, discussions on on-orbit satellite refueling and debris removal have been integrated into PLA textbooks since 2013, indicating a concerted effort to normalize such missions within the PLA's operations framework and influence international norms regarding space operations. One can never be too prepared, right? The involvement of entities like the Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, further shows China's strides in this arena. Since 2018, SAST has been actively promoting its satellite refueling spacecraft, culminating in successful demonstrations with missions like Shijian-21. These missions, which involved docking with defunct satellites and relocating them to higher orbits, underscore the PLA's ambitions to sustain on-orbit space operations, even during wartime scenarios. The report emphasizes the role of commercial help in this landscape, highlighting the approval of new players by the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, to shape international norms in addition to providing technological solutions. We have seen a rise of China's commercial space entities into the world of space development, so looking forward to their joint venture is as exciting as it sounds. While China's advancements in on-orbit servicing have garnered positive attention from the world, the report suggests that the U.S. intelligence community remains vigilant about potential dual-use applications, including counterspace capabilities, which is no surprise. It shows the importance of proactive engagement by the U.S. Space Force in training for on-orbit servicing to bolster readiness. The cancellation of NASA's On-Orbit Servicing, Assembly and Manufacturing OSAM, one mission due to delays and cost overruns, further also shows the complexities inherent in such endeavors. Also, it gives you a proper image of how impressive China's strides in this technology are, and how far ahead China has come in space sector. Like imagine a world where satellites can refuel in space, revolutionizing how we perceive space logistics and military operations. Impressive, isn't it? Despite these advancements, China's progress in on-orbit servicing has largely flown under the radar, as China has usually been secretive about its fresh developments and letting the technology speak for itself. However, activities in geostationary Earth orbit (GEO) involving satellites from various countries underscore the evolving dynamics of space operations. As China continues to make strides in this domain, it is imperative for stakeholders to closely monitor developments and adapt their strategies accordingly and extremely important for China to remain ahead in the space sector to further protect its interests all over the world. China's meteoric rise in space technology has caught the attention of some specific observers, with the chief of the U.S. Space Command sounding the alarm over the nation's breathtaking growth in this domain. 
General Stephen Whiting emphasized China's concerted efforts to bolster its military capabilities, both on land and in orbit, positioning itself as a formidable global force. Amidst assertions of China's expanding military space and counterspace capabilities, questions arise about the implications of its advancements for international security and strategic stability. But the point is, how can China be blamed if it has never been on the attacking side of a conflict, be it space or land? Whiting's testimony before the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee showed China's strategic intent to challenge American and allied space capabilities, portraying Beijing as Washington's primary space competitor. By ramping up its military space capabilities at an unprecedented pace, China seeks to assert its dominance in space, a move that could potentially disrupt the existing balance of power. With China's ambitious plans to achieve world-class status in various space technology areas by 2030, concerns mount about the implications of its ascent for global space governance and security architecture by none other than the U.S. China's defense ministry, however, dismissed such concerns as a pretext for the U.S. to expand its own military prowess. Emphasizing China's commitment to the peaceful use of space, the ministry urged the U.S. to abandon its Cold War mentality and refrain from engaging in an arms race in space. China's ambitious space program, which includes plans for 100 rocket launches in 2024 alone, clearly shows its determination to establish itself as a space superpower. From lunar missions to advances in satellite meteorology and human spaceflight, China's space endeavors reflect its unwavering commitment to technological innovation and scientific exploration. However, as China expands its network of intelligence satellites and develops advanced space weaponry, concerns arise about the dual-use nature of its space capabilities and their potential implications for regional and global security. And the U.S. just can't stop laying blames. Hints of jealousy or a reaction from a scared opposition. You decide. The intensifying rivalry between China and the U.S. in space has profound implications for the future of international relations. With both nations investing heavily in space technology and infrastructure, competition in the space domain has become a defining feature of contemporary geopolitics. As China accelerates its efforts to develop hypersonic glide vehicles and other advanced space weaponry, questions linger about the possibility of an arms race in space and the adequacy of existing arms control mechanisms to address emerging challenges. Amidst escalating tensions and growing competition in space, the need for enhanced transparency, confidence-building measures, and multilateral cooperation has never been greater. As China asserts its presence in space and expands its military capabilities, the international community must work together to ensure that outer space remains a peaceful and accessible domain for all nations. And so far, China has been at the forefront of this mission, urging the U.S. to stop laying blames and share in the victories. With much about China military's extremely ambitious and strategic approach to on-orbit refueling plans covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.